We're being asked to find the third degree Taylor polynomial for f of x equals x times sine x centered at pi over 2. So, solution. So, the general formula for an nth degree Taylor polynomial is the following it's f of c plus f prime of c times x minus c plus f double prime of c over 2 factorial times x minus c squared plus f triple prime of c over 3 factorial x minus c cubed etc. You keep going all the way until you get to n. So the nth derivative evaluated at c over n factorial x minus c to the n. So that's the nth degree Taylor polynomial. We want the third degree, so we have to go all the way to 3. So in this problem, our answer will look like, let's see, f of pi over 2, our c is pi over 2, plus f prime of pi over 2 times x minus pi over 2, a lot of writing, plus f double prime of pi over 2 over 2 factorial, and then x minus pi over 2 squared. One more, right, because we want the third degree, so f triple prime of pi over 2 over 3 factorial x minus pi over 2 quantity cubed. Okay, so we have to work this out. So how do you do that? Well, what I like to do is do it in steps. So let's start by taking derivatives. So we have f of x equals x sine x. Okay, and let's take the derivative. So f prime of x is the derivative of the first piece, which is 1 times sine x. That's the second piece. Plus the first piece, which is x, times the derivative of the second, which is cosine x. So let me write it one more time. So f prime of x is sine x plus x cosine x. So that's the first derivative of f of x. Now we have to find the second derivative. So f double prime of x. Well, the derivative of sine is cosine plus, and then here we use the product rule, right? We have x times cosine x. So this will be the first piece and this will be the second. So the derivative of the first is 1 times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second factor, which is negative sine x, right? The derivative of cosine is negative sine. Let's clean it up. So f double prime of x is equal to cosine x. Oh, oh, cosine x plus cosine x is 2 cosine x. And then here we get minus x sine x. One more derivative, and we got it. So f triple prime of x. Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so we get negative 2 sine x. And then here, uh, I'm going to think of it like this. So minus parentheses, derivative of x is 1 times sine x plus the first piece, which is x, times the derivative of sine, which is cosine. So I just blew through those derivatives really, really quickly. Um, but it's just the product rule. So here we have negative 2, negative 3 sine x, right? Because here we have negative 2 sine x, negative sine x, so you get negative 3 sine x, and then minus x cosine x. All right, let's recap what we did. So first I wrote down the general formula, which I didn't really need to do. Uh, if I was doing this on my own, I wouldn't write any of this down. I would just start taking derivatives. So first you take derivatives. Here we have third degree, so you go to the third derivative. So that part is done. If it was fourth degree, you would just go all the way to the fourth derivative. If it was sixth degree, hopefully it never is, you go to the sixth derivative. Okay, now you'll notice that we need to evaluate f at all of its derivatives, at, at pi over 2, right? Uh, and all of its derivatives at pi over 2. So we'll start by plugging in pi over 2 into f and its derivatives. So f of pi over 2, 
Well, that's just pi over 2 times the sine of pi over 2. Okay, sine of pi over 2 is 1, so you just get pi over 2. Okay, so f of pi over 2 is pi over 2. Uh, let's see, now the derivative of f at pi over 2. Well, here's the derivative right here. So we get sine of pi over 2, sine of pi over 2, and then cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so you just get 0, so you just get 1. Okay, so that's the first derivative at pi over 2. And then f double prime of pi over 2. See, where's the second derivative? Here it is, right here. So we get 2 times the cosine of pi over 2, but the cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So 0 minus pi over 2 sine pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, so you just get negative pi over 2. Okay, and then the third derivative at pi over 2 is, well, it looks like we're looking here, right? This is the third derivative. So negative 3 sine pi over 2. And the cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so minus 0. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, so you just get minus 3. Okay, just get minus 3. So let me write these down one more time so we have it organized. So f of pi over 2, we said that was pi over 2. Okay, f prime of pi over 2, we said that was 1. And f double prime of pi over 2, we said that was negative pi over 2. And f triple prime of pi over 2 is negative 3. So it's not hard, it's just kind of long. So again, what have we done? It asks for the third degree Taylor polynomial, so we take three derivatives. And after you take your derivatives, you plug in your c into your function and its derivatives. We did that here, or rather we did it here, we wrote it here again. And now to finish, right now we're gonna finish. So let's write the answer down. So use a different color for the answer. How about, ooh, how about this one? So P3 of X, it's gonna be F of pi over two, uh, which is pi over two, okay? Plus F prime of pi over two. Now, f prime of pi over 2, we said that was 1. So 1 times x minus pi over 2. Okay, and then the second derivative at pi over 2, it's right here, divided by 2 factorial. So we're taking this and we're dividing it by 2 factorial. So minus pi over 2 divided by 2 factorial. And this is x minus pi over 2 squared, right? We're looking at this piece here now. Okay, so now the last piece is this one. So f triple prime of pi over 2, that's negative 3, so minus 3 over 3 factorial, and then x minus pi over 2 cubed. Last thing to do is clean this up. Let's write a little bigger. So p3 of x, p sub 3 of x, Let's see, pi over 2 is here. Oh, look, there's a negative pi over 2 here. They cancel. So we just get x. Pi over 2 divided by 2 factorial is pi over 4, right? Because 2 factorial is 2. So we're doing, we're doing pi over 2 divided by 2. So that's just pi over 4. So this is minus pi over 4 x minus pi over 2 squared. And then 3 factorial is 6, so you get 3 over 6, which is 1 over 2. So minus 1 half x minus pi over 2 cubed. And that is the third degree Taylor polynomial for our function centered at pi over 2. Let's go over it one more time. So it wanted the third degree Taylor polynomial, so we went up to the third derivative. So first thing you do is take derivatives. If it was fifth degree, you would take five derivatives. So we took all our derivatives. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And then here's the third one, at least these simplified versions, right? And then you take your pi over two and you plug it in to f and its derivatives. So we did that here. And then I rewrote it again down here. I have no idea why I did that, probably for clarity, at least for myself. Um, and then we want p3 of x. So we carefully replaced everything in this formula. All right, we did that down here and we got this mess. 
and then we carefully cleaned up cleaned it up and we got that and that's the answer so i hope this helps